So I've got a read aloud you can join in with now. Um, this is called Animal Surprises. Uh, and the word that you're going to join in with is the word surprises. Um, uh, and you'll know where you've got to say it, because if you listen carefully for the rhyme and the rhythm, you'll hear just where you've got to come in. And we'll do it really, really slowly first, and then we'll see how fast we can do it. Although I have to say the limiting factor here is um, my ability to turn the pages quickly. Um, lovely, lovely illustrations. Do check these out uh, by Abby Cameron. And Abby's also uh, done several books in this series, which are how to draw books. So if you're really interested in Abby's technique and you'd like to be a fantastic illustration uh, illustrator like Abby, um, she's got books out there that you can look for. Look on, on the uh, Grafeg Books website and you'll find them there. Anyway, so don't forget, surprises is the word you've got to come up with. Um, and before we start, just take a look at these. So there's a baby tapir here. There's the baby tapir. And there's an armadillo and you don't need me to tell you what that one is. OK. On all the pages of this book, are animals, so take a look. Creatures of all shapes and sizes, some you'll know, and some surprises. Okay, so take a good look at that and see if you know what that is. Any ideas, anybody? Okay, the big clue is there's a big long middle finger here and it's an animal that's coming out at night. It's a kind of lemur from Madagascar. It's an eye eye and it climbs around the two tree tops, tapping on branches to try and find the hollow place where there are fat grubs living inside. And then it winkles them out with that long skinny finger and yum, eats them up. Okay. Some are big, some pretty small. Some you can hardly see at all. Some are skinny as a string, some are fat as anything, round and cute and very furry or spiky, scaly, curly-whirly. Creatures of all shapes and sizes, some you'll know and some surprises. Now I bet lots of you know what that surprise is. It's a lionfish and it has those long spines and that bright stripy colour to warn off anything that might eat it because those spines are not going to be very nice if you put your mouth on top of them and they're poisonous. Um, so it has that stripy pattern as a warning to predators to say don't try and eat me because you'll be really sorry if you do. Some have two legs, some have four, some have six or eight or more. Animals with none must wriggle, creep and crawl and squirm and squiggle. Some instead have flukes and fins or flapping, gliding, zooming wings. Tall and thin or short and squat, shaped like a star or just a dot. They may have feathers, fur or scales. They may have beaks or trunks or tails. Creatures of all shapes and sizes. Some you'll know and some surprises. Now, take a good close look at that picture. It's a spider. But what's it sitting on? It's sitting on a fingernail. So that tells you that this little creature, this little surprise, is very tiny indeed. It's a peacock spider. Um, and the reason I've put it there is that they are fascinating little beasts. They live in Australia. They have these bright colours. The males are brightly coloured to display to the females. Now, I'm not going to tell you any more about them because if you're watching this uh, on the internet, then you can uh, look up peacock spiders. So look them up. And I absolutely guarantee that whatever sort of day you're having, your day will definitely be improved. All right, now, should we see if we can do it really fast? Okay, so I'm not going to show you the pictures this time. I'm just going to concentrate on turning the pages. And you've got to concentrate on saying, surprises! 
really loud and in the right place. Okay, you ready? On all the pages of this book are animals, so take a look. Creatures of all shapes and sizes, some you'll know and some surprises. Some are big, some pretty small, some you can hardly see at all. Some are skinny as a string, some are fat as anything, round and cute and very furry, or spiky, scaly, curly, whirly, creatures of all shapes and sizes, some you'll know and some surprises. Some have two legs, some have four, some have six or eight or more, animals with none must wriggle, creep and crawl and squirm and squiggle. Some instead have flukes and fins or flapping, gliding, zooming wings. Tall and thin, or short and squat, shaped like a star, or just a dot. They may have feathers, fur, or scales. They may have beaks, or trunks, or tails. Creatures of all shapes and sizes, some you'll know, and some... <gasps> Surprises. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye-bye.